Power rates evolution, emissions and cost reduction. I am Rafael Hertzberg, an energy consultant based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. What's the challenge? Let's compare two right next door neighbors consuming 720 kilowatt hours per month. The average consumption for both houses is therefore one kilowatt hour per hour. But the difference in this example is what happens with the maximum consumption, one house three kilowatt hours per hour and the other one 13 kilowatt hours per hour. But the, at the end of the day, both houses right now pay exactly the same monthly power bill of 120 kilowatt hours because the rate structure is based on the kilowatt hour consumption. But what happens is so different when it comes to water heating. One house has a 150 gallon, two kilowatt tank that is good enough for three people. And the other house is using a three, six kilowatt tankless system. What happens with the costs? Let's compare both houses. The generation investment for one house is 3,000 kilowatts and the other 13,000. The amortization cost per month, of course, is so different. One is $46 per month and the other one is 201. So when we refer the amortization cost per the amount of energy that is consumed by each house, then we can see what a huge difference there is in costs per kilowatt hour. My suggestion is a fixed power contract, which means that the contract value would be a function of the maximum demand. And the associated energy is the maximum demand times the hours per month. Very simple and easy. This rate structure would signal that the consumer would be stimulated to reduce its maximum demand. And how so? By in developing energy efficiency measures and programming the time of use. And this rate st structure improvement would be associated with a power exchange platform sponsored by the local utility company, which would be a zero sum game, a win win, because clients of that same utility company would be able to adjust their demand differences. And the utility company would keep the same infrastructure and therefore remain with the same overall revenues. The three kilowatt home demands, of course, less infrastructure than the 30, 13 kilowatt one. Less infrastructure, less emissions. Thank you very much for watching this video and here goes my contact information.